So today I'll be flying to Chicago to check out Sprint's 5G speeds and throughout this whole video I'll be shooting on iPhone XR paired up with the Moza Mini S. So I'll be doing a review on that gimbal in the near future so stay subscribed for that. So I finally got my hands on a Samsung S10 5G, so let's walk around and do some testing. So far my experience on the 5G network is really good, especially if you're really close to the antenna. Now I can download a movie off of Netflix in standard quality in about a minute and a half. Now if I were to download an episode of a TV show, then it would probably take about less than a minute for sure. So far I've been going to these test locations and I've been getting about 280 to 300, a little bit over 300 down. So I'm going to go around to more test locations and see if I can get anything higher more than 350. When I'm away from the tower then the speeds are really slow. but. For the most part, it's still about the same as 4G networks. I'm pretty sure I'm right under the antenna. I just got over 480 down, so that's the highest I've ever gotten today. shooting on a Samsung S10 5G since I ran out of space on my iPhone. So I'm just going to talk about my first impressions of the Moza Mini S. So far my favorite feature is the standby mode. I can just tap on a power button and the gimbal is still on. The motor just turns off. So when I'm crossing the street or when I don't see anything cool to shoot, this is when I use this mode and I find myself doing it a lot. So when I want to reply back to a message or even do a quick Google search, I can use this feature and then I don't have to turn it off or fight the gimbal. Next thing is the impressive battery life. It lasted me pretty much all day. I started shooting 5 a.m. in the morning and now it is 8.30, so it's over 12 hours. So that is my experience with Sprint's 5G network and pretty much using this gimbal the whole day. So stay tuned or make sure to subscribe to see my full review on the Moza Mini X.